If you don't like it, build your own, right? All right, mate, it's Madigan. Women, you've had a win. Take the win. Hold on to it. Don't turn this into an L like I think you're going to do because you want to be inclusive and tolerant and empathetic. No, but seriously, you have had a win, which I'm going to tell you about in just a second. But there is a part of me that's a little bit skeptical of this because I think it might actually lead into something a little bit more sinister. So without further ado, what is the win? Well, let's go to Channel 9 to find out. Athletics Council has today announced a controversial overhaul of its rules for transgender women, excluding them from elite female competition. Sarah Stewart has more. Good morning. Well, there is a lot of support for this decision, both online and here on the streets of Parramatta. Now, this decision was announced by World Athletics early this morning, and basically it means that anyone who went through puberty as a male isn't allowed to compete in women's events. Now, they said they made the announcement, they made the decision to protect women's sport, to maintain integrity in the sport, to maintain fairness in the sport. And most people we've spoken to here this morning are applauding that decision. The council has agreed to exclude male to female transgender athletes who have been through male puberty from female world ranking competitions from March the 31st uh, this year. I understand the hows and whys, but I think it'll be one of those great debates that will go on forever. Um, there's no right or wrong to it, but if that's the decision they made, that's what we have to live with. They're born at as one six, then want to compete in another six. Um, I don't know. In my personal opinion, I don't really think it's fair. If they've done all the medical things and everything, then and other people say it's okay, then I guess why not? But yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I think if you're born a man, you should compete in a man's race. Now, this ban will come into effect at the end of this month, but World Athletics is saying this isn't a forever no. They are going to set up a community group over the next 12 months and they're going to monitor the situation. That will include athletes as well as a trans athlete as well, and they're going to see if anything changes, both with the science or opinion. But at the moment, most people are saying this is good news. Well, there we go. The World Athletics Organization, whoever they are, have decided that's it. No more men competing in women's athletics. This is a good thing, women. Take this win. And also extend it out to every single one of your sports. This is a good thing. Only you can stuff this up now. Only you can turn this win into a loss, as I alluded to earlier, because... Your desperate need to be seen as inclusive and tolerant and empathetic to be with current thing. No, take this win. This is a good thing. But like I alluded to earlier also, I think this is going to lead into something a little bit more sinister. Notice at the end there where they said that they're going to reevaluate this a little bit later on. They're going to add in more people. This is where the L could happen for you. So women, you need to stand up now and you need to push this industry-wide. Would that be the correct terminology? Not just athletics, but for swimming, um, for football codes, for every single code of sport that is out there. You can do this. The other sinister thing that they said there as well is that they're going to uh, reevaluate the science. So this is what has me worried. What has me worried now is that the... Uh, activists are going to step up their attack on medically transitioning children. Because if, if you notice in there, they mentioned, you know, who have gone through male puberty, who have gone through male puberty. That is what the big push is for right now is the medical transition of children. They are putting children on puberty blockers at ages 11 and below. They're talking children into getting double mastectomies and sexually mutilating themselves as well, having boys cut off their junk before they're old enough to understand or consent to what exactly is going to happen. So this is, this is the part that's got me really, really worried, that the activists are going to step up their game. Thankfully, in places like the United States, only a few states at the moment have banned medical or uh, surgical transition of minors. This is a good thing. This is a thing that needs to spread to other states. And hopefully, 
it happens here in Australia too. So any of the WNRL or WAFL players that are listening, I know you want to be seen as kind and and tolerant and, and inclusive and you want to have a diverse uh, sport and blah, blah, blah. If you go down that path, your sport is gone. I've mentioned this before in other in other videos of mine. If you go down that path, forget about having a career full-time because mediocre men who couldn't cut it are going to take over your sport. That's, that's basically what will happen. So stop being so scared. Stop being so afraid and put your foot down. Take this win. This is a good thing. Now, what else is there to say about this? I don't know. I think that's that's pretty much all I can think of right now. That's what's the, the, the main thing that's got me worried is that this is going to accelerate the destruction of children. So women, you could you could put a stop to this right now by coming out in droves and saying no to any of this stuff happening in your sport, and then that will be it. And if you say no, that's it. Not assigned female at birth. You're not assigned female at birth. You're observed observed as female at birth. That should be the cutoff point. Now, for all the people who are upset saying, well, this is discrimination, no. That's why women's uh, categories were created. To say, well, there's another opportunity for you to compete there. Therefore, you have an equal chance. So what do you need to do? I highly doubt that you're listening to somebody like me because immediately you're probably looking at my channel and looking at my previous posts and going, well, he's a phobe and he's an ist and and all that other rubbish. Build your own. I have nothing against you lobbying the Olympic Committee, the World Athletics Committee or whatever committee that there is to create a gender diverse division. Go for it. Knock yourselves out. And if your support is so strong... Well, you should eclipse the male and female sports because there's a tolerant society there to support you. Spitting everywhere at the moment. Spitting venom. Sorry. I've got got no problem with that. Do it. Go crazy. Create your own divisions. No one is stopping you from doing that. Stop intruding in on women's spaces. Listen to me. I'm sounding like a goddamn male feminist and it's making me sick. All right, mate, thanks very much for checking out the video. Thank you very much for checking out the channel. If you do want to help me out, what would really, really help me out is a subscription. I'm trying to reach a YouTube goal here where I can do this more often, more frequently, but I need your help with that. So a subscription is what's going to help me out. Like, comments as well. If you don't have time to watch the videos, maybe you just want to listen to it. I have audio-only versions of these episodes on Spotify and Apple or wherever you get your podcasts and leaving five-star reviews there would also help me out. Great. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. 